a 630 miles of battered coastline, and that's in New York and New Jersey alone. We go to Hoboken, New Jersey, and two pictures that say so much, wading through the river of water there and also a very determined piggyback ride to safety. ABC's Alex Perez is there. Alex. Well, Diane, here are the streets of Hoboken. Still much chaos tonight. This is a medical unit truck that showed up to help someone stranded in this apartment. People are just trying to figure out what to do. There are trucks like this one all over town trying to make sure that people get to safety. Many of them are frustrated and running out of options. The bottom of the bathtub, as one neighbor calls it, first in Harrison in Hoboken. This is the site stranded residents thought they'd never see. Military rescue crews busting their backs to get each person out, step by step, one by one. And clearly has been patiently waiting her turn for the last few hours. You can't communicate with anyone. You can't find out what's going on anywhere else. We've just been in this little island. Hoboken is just across the Hudson River from Manhattan. It's the city where Frank Sinatra was born, and tonight it's 25% underwater. ABC's Sam Champion got a bird's eye view today. The flooding that we're looking at in Hoboken, this is Wednesday that we're flying right now. The storm made landfall on Monday night. That's when they got the water in. That water is still there. On the ground, as many as 20,000 people may be stranded in their homes. Here, an entire block taking turns using a generator to charge their phones and make some coffee to stay warm. Some are braving the stew of sewage and rainwater. Dana Maddow and Daniel O'Brien decided to truck through. It's scary. You don't know how long you're going to be stuck here. Um, you don't know how, to, how you're going to get out of town. Dramatic scenes playing out across the region in the desperate hours since Sandy hit. Last night, New York police helicopters airlifted Staten Island residents off their roof. Up and down the Jersey Shore, scenes of devastation. House after house crumpled to bits. And for many stranded here in Hoboken, there's no relief in sight. And Diane, I'm standing in what's supposed to be a busy intersection, but if you look around as far as the eye can see, nothing but water. And of course, for the people who live here, the urgency is only growing. Diane? Thank you, Alex. And these rescue scenes bring us to an update, the ones you saw in Alex's report, because they include some heroes of the storm you have met before. As Sandy crashed into New York, I went to meet with the NYPD scuba rescue team, and they're preparing to brave 20-foot waves in the dark of the night to help anyone in trouble. But they tell me today they did not have to rescue a single New Yorker in the water, so they boarded those rescue helicopters. They were there, airlifting people off the rooftop in Staten Island, a grateful city thanking them tonight.